Hi there, I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a really simple way to paint your own pet or somebody else's pet. I'm gonna be popping a Christmas hat on them and painting my adorable dog and cat with photos so you can all follow along and see exactly what I'm doing. If you've been wanting to paint your own pet for some time but don't quite know where to begin, then this video will be perfect for you. I hope you enjoy it. This is a really simple tutorial and you're not going to need very many supplies whatsoever. So I'm just going to grab everything together now. I've got a pencil, a rubber, a waterproof fine liner, a paintbrush for watercolour, some watercolour paint and a sketchbook. You can use any kind of paper but somewhere around 300 GSM would be the best. If you don't have any waterproof pens then a colour pencil will work just as well. I'm going to be painting this adorable photo of my dog and I'm looking at the animal as shapes right now. So I'm doing a circle for the head, a circle for the mouth and it looks to me like the body is about two heads big so I've done two circles similar size to the head. Then I move on to the ears. I'm trying to get the ears semi accurate because the ears are quite prominent generally with dogs but for this dog in particular the ears are quite big so I wanted to get them quite accurate. Then I'm adding in the body and the legs. Legs. This doesn't have to be perfect, again, we're just blocking them in as shapes, circles and joining up all of the lines. The nose sits within the upper half of the mouth circle and the eyes are just on the outside. Now we're going to grab the pen and do the sketch. What I'm doing here, as you can see, is I'm gently going over the pencil lines, but I'm doing it in very delicate motions. This gives the effect of fur and it makes the sketch look a lot more like a stylistic choice. It looks a lot more professional rather than doing one single line that joins up like the entire body. Honestly, trust me with this, it, it looks better. I'm also adding the aspects of fur that need to be there to recognise the dog. So she has little scruffy areas between her eyes and I wanted to make sure that I showed that. Then I totally forgot we were adding a Santa hat so I just penciled that in. And honestly you can look at pictures on Google, they're really simple to do. So I just added the Santa hat. I also made the eyes really quite dark with fine liner because I thought that would be a lot easier than trying to go in with watercolour. I'm now applying clean water over the entire dog. I decided to use wet and wet because this dog doesn't really have any distinct colours or patterns. And I'm just gently dabbing the colour on as you can see. I don't want to cover the entire dog so it's just one layer. I would like there to be slight gaps in between and that's what this provides. I'm darkening the ears and the paws. That's a personal choice but I do think in the reference photo you can see it's slightly darker. I think it just looks really cute. So that's the main areas. There's also the neck and the body which are slightly in shadow so I've darkened them a little bit and she does have a bit of a darker face. Keep adding paint to the darker areas just make sure you don't have much water on your brush. I'm adding the Santa hat and we're going to leave this one to dry now whilst we move on to the cat. I'm adding a circle for the head, a long oval for the body and the mouth circle. Then moving on to ears, honestly don't sit there for ages trying to perfect them. Just add them on and move on, that's the best way. The nose is smaller and the cheeks follow around the mouth circle. The chin is also a lot wider in cats. I'm now just connecting all the lines to give the cats a bit of a body before moving on to the eyes. Draw a line up from either side of the nose and then connect the eyes there. Generally the eyes will sit a lot lower than what you'd think they would. These can always be perfected later. Then I move on to adding the feet and just trying to approximate where the body would sit naturally. A lot of this generally is just winging it and looking at the shape. I then added the Santa hat, I actually remember this time. And again, we're going to grab the fine liner and just do very small lines. This cat is a short hair so there's no distinguishing fur textures that we need to add. For the white fur I'm mixing blue and brown and adding it to the shadow areas. Then I'm washing my brush, dabbing it on a clean cloth and just wiping out those areas to get rid of any harsh lines. This also helps to keep the highlights. I'm using the same wet on dry technique for the coloured areas and the colour that I've chosen is yellow because that's actually the lightest colour that I can see in the brown area. Because this is watercolour we're going to be going from light to dark so it's important to block out the areas with the lightest colour that you can see. Whilst the paper is still damp, I'm adding the darker colours just on top and because the paper is already damp, they should blend lovely together. You don't have to suddenly rush to all of the markings, try and find the mid-tones in the reference photo. Don't add the distinct markings until the very end because otherwise it will just blur with everything and you could lose all of that pattern that you've created. I've gone around her eyes and now I'm just looking at the reference photo and trying to make it as accurate as I can. I have used a slightly brighter colour but I decided that I liked the yellow shining through rather than making her more of a brown. If we had done this with wet on wet, the white areas would have just bled to the brown areas. So that's why we've done this one with wet on dry. 
I'm adding a little bit of pink to bring a bit more life to this painting so I've just added some to her paws and then I'm using a clean damp brush to blend it out. I'm also adding some of the pink to her body and nose just to bring a little bit more life to it because at the moment this only had blue on it and I felt like it looked a little bit lifeless. Finally we mustn't forget to paint in the little Santa hat, I love how small this looks on the little cat's head, it's adorable. Then we're going to move back to the dog because that's already dried now so we're going to our second layer and I'm just going to paint in the nose here. I'm adding a little bit to the mouth as well to add a bit of definition and then I'm darkening up the pores just because that's generally personal preference, you don't have to do this, it's very easy to overwork it at this stage so just try not to. I darkened up the ears as well because I feel like her ears are a lot darker than the rest of her fur and then I just added some splashes to the background. Generally if you think it looks a little bit plain with a plain background add some splashes and you'll be sorted. Grabbing the fine liner now just to go over the pupils of both their eyes. The watercolour generally will make it fade a bit. If you have really chalky watercolours you might need to go over some of the fur as well. Then I'm grabbing a white gel pen and I'm just going to add the highlights to both of their eyes. I feel like this really just makes it pop at the very end. And here's the finished look. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and it's inspired you to paint your pet for Christmas. If you have followed this tutorial, I would love to see what you've created. Please tag me on Instagram or use the hashtag ChantelArts so that I can see. I would absolutely love to see what you've made. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you did like it and I'll see you next week for a new video. Bye bye.